In this talk, I will introduce our work towards explanation of deep neural network-based prediction with guided feature inversion. Let's start with this question. Why do we need interpretation? Deep neural networks have made dramatic progress in a wide range of areas such as computer vision, natural language processing, and recommender systems. Despite superior performance, deep neural network models are often regarded as black box since they cannot provide explanations on how a certain prediction is made. Moreover, sometimes they may fail unexpectedly, leaving a user stares at the unexpected prediction, wondering why. The problem lies in that traditional deep neural networks only provide predictions to users. Interpretation requires deep neural networks to provide not only predictions to users, but also explanations. Eventually, the explanation will increase the trust of users towards deep neural networks' predictions. Existing interpretation methods can be classified into two categories, gradient-based methods and perturbation-based methods. However, if we look at these methods, they simply ignore the informative intermediate layers of deep neural networks. Therefore, we ask this question, how to effectively use the intermediate information to derive more accurate interpretations. Here is an illustration for our proposed framework. We present guided feature inversion to preserve the object localization information in a mask to provide insights of what information is actually employed by the deep neural network for the prediction. We further establish connections between the input and the target object to make the interpretations more class discriminative. In addition, we use the activation values at higher convolutional layers as a regularizer to make the final saliency maps more smooth and continuous. Given the input images and the predictions made by the deep neural network, our interpretation method will give corresponding object locations, showing that why deep neural network makes such predictions. In addition, when the input has multiple foreground objects, our method could distinguish different classes, showing high-class discriminability. Moreover, we demonstrate the guided feature inversion part of our method achieves the effect of solid object detection, which detects the full extent of the foregrounds, neglecting their categories. It validates that using the information of intermediate layers of deep neural network is meaningful. Thank you so much for watching and hope to see you all at KDD 2018.